yeah, so this video is going to be the start of a series. So I'm going to be starting like a fall layering um, combo series. So this is the first video, which is the bakery, fall bakery layering combos. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven combos with perfumes and five combos that do not have perfumes that are just fragrance mist. So, um, probably won't remember, but I might do like the chapters thing. Maybe we'll see. I'd say most likely not, but you know, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm also going to have like an apple orchard one, like a pumpkin one coming up. I believe also like a candy shop, like a fall candy shop one and a like warm and woody one. So yeah, those will all be coming. Um, I'm doing three this month and two next month. I believe the two next month are the candy shop one and the warm and woody. And this, this month is bakery, apple orchard, and pumpkin patch. So yeah, those are like, it's a series I'm going to try to do. Um, basically, I didn't really have any video ideas and I really don't want to be shopping for a bunch of stuff right now um just because not because I like don't have money but I just have too much stuff and I'm going through college and I want to save money <laughs> rather than spend it and I'm pretty good at saving but I want to save more than I have been so that's that reason but also um I don't like buying things when they're only like $5.95 I prefer a semi-annual sale and a coupon so I guess what I can say is I probably won't be buying any Bath & My Direct stuff until there is like a $4.95 sale for Miss and I have a coupon. Um, just I'm not getting very many coupons in the mail anymore, which is really unfortunate, but that's it is what it is. So yeah, anyways, that's what this series is kind of like to fill in all the gaps where my haul videos usually would be. Plus, I'm just not that excited about Bath & My Direct's fall releases. I feel like they really dropped the ball on fall this year because they didn't release really anything new. Most of their fall collections are repackages and they push it out so early that now it's like barely mid-September as a bonus it's the 15th I believe. Yeah so it's mid it's like exactly mid-September and I feel like almost all their fall collections are out and like fall hasn't actually started yet. So my like enthusiasm for bath letter is like fall stuff that I haven't even gotten yet is very low because most of the things I do have or have had and I'd prefer something new if that makes sense so yeah anyways also I'm wearing a sweater but I did roll the sleeves up because it's actually really hot today I think it's like 80 or 85 degrees and I had to turn the AC off because you know I'm filming and you don't want to like whirr in the background so yeah anyways but this is a cute sweater I do like it it's very comfortable um yeah so let's go ahead and get started so the first section will be the combos with perfumes and the second section will be the combos that are just fragrance Swiss. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, I believe I have seven combos with perfumes. You'll probably see a few of these in my Bath & Myrt, um Project Use It Up layering combos at the end of the month, but I think there's only like two or three that'll be in there, but these have even more added variations than those ones did. Um, Cause I already took pictures of all my combos that I tested and stuff and I'm posting them on um, Instagram day by day. But, yeah, we'll start with the first one. The first one is a combo with Ice Lemon Pound Cake. Um, if you watch my mid-month product use-up video, you know I've been loving that one. So this is the same day, by the way. That's why there's no more progress on this, because I'm filming this the same day as it is that video. But um, this is Iced Lemon Pound Cake. The notes on this are sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. I really like this one. It is a very, um, I would say, like bright gourmand it's not heavy it's not like sticky sickly sweet that type of scent it's a very like light and fluffy uh, vanilla cake with like a lemon glaze not like like a stringent cleaner lemon but very like sweet bakery lemon glaze and it's really pretty i really am enjoying it i'm very happy i got three of these so my combo for this one is iceland pound cake and my soft perfume from Al Rahab. I got this perfume last year and I did not like it when I got it. I still don't love it, but this really helps it be a lot better. 
yeah there's still that hint of like a powdery pink sugar note but when you mix it with this it really brings out the lemon creaminess and together it makes like a creamy lemon cake with a hint of like a um sugary perfuminess it's a really good combo especially if you don't love this one or you don't love this one and you love this perfect way to like kind of sweeten it up either way and make it just a nice creamy lemon cakey combo overall okay and the next combo also includes the soft perfume but instead of the iceland pound cake i am using sweet petal pound cake the notes on this one are candied rose raspberry swirl and frosted bun cake so this one's really not a gourmand bakery scent at all but i'm mixing with a few things that make it that way and the reason i like this one is because the type of rose in this is the type of rose you would usually smell on like a rose gourmand type of scent a rose bakery scent because it's not like that powdery uh, mature rose perfumey scent it's more of like a sweet freshly picked like or like you picked it and then you dried it and you're like making a rose syrup to like drizzle on a sponge cake that type of like soft rose so it's really pretty there is a hint of sweetness in there more of like a sugary sweetness like a candied rose petal versus like a cakey sweetness so mixing these together gives it a nice like creamy powderiness um as well as giving it a hint of lemon which you know lemon desserts are always really nice so lemon and rose smells really good together as well and to give it that gourmand like bakery cakey note i am adding in my cupcake swirl mist from body fantasies this is like a spiced vanilla cupcake scent and lemon and spices go well together and rose and spices i'm talking bakery at this point go well together as well so the creamy soft like vanilla cakiness of this plus the hint of that like spiced note like soft spices mixes really well just to make a very unique rosy hint of lemon soft creamy like cakey note so i really do enjoy this combo um and it's like perfect for fall perfect for bakery stuff like that or like a fall bakery scent um it'd probably work well for spring too but yes okay next i have another one that features cupcake swirl let me grab that again so again cupcake swirl is like the base for this one and then i go in with my basic vanilla from pink uh notes of vanilla marshmallow and warm chai it really does have that marshmallow vanilla scent the chai spices is very beautiful it's definitely gotten stronger over time and again it doesn't have like that bakery note this really gives it that like bakery cupcake vibe and then i'm mixing it with my dead cool taunt perfume this is a very light like soft vanilla scent that really isn't super strong but it's really good at layering it kind of like adapts to whatever scent you're mixing with it and it gives it a nice soft smooth vanilla note so pairing these all together just gives you a really nice like vanilla cake with a hint of like a chai spice like a chai cake it's really really beautiful and perfect especially if you don't want something super like strong but you want something just nice sweet and vanilla-y so perfect for that okay i have a lot of patty here without my combos on there just so i don't mix anything up so next combo features pumpkin pecan waffles yes okay i have interesting handwriting when i'm scribbling away i do like a half cursive it's like a ha it's like a three quarters cursive scribble so <laughs> i can read it but sometimes it's a little interesting but i can write while well, i just choose not to anyways so pumpkin pecan waffles is the base for this it has notes of maple syrup golden waffles pumpkin spice and brown sugar so i do like gourmand fragrances but personally a lot of times stuff like pumpkin pecan waffles is like so gourmand so syrupy sweet that i really can't enjoy it as much because it's like it's like clouding up your space and it's like almost like suffocating of how sweet and like syrupy it is sometimes i feel that way um yeah this one just has a very syrupy like heavy quality so to lighten it up give it more of like a clean vanilla woody vibe i'm pairing it with my nest madagascar vanilla perfume oil this one is a very woody vanilla it's like it's just a nice woody vanilla and it's perfect with this to tone down that syrupy sweetness and give it more of like a woodsy fall vibe like you're baking 
pumpkin pan or you're making pumpkin pancakes in a cabin versus like you like dousing yourself in maple syrup and rolling in pancakes you know what I mean like or it's just like oh it's too, too much syrup that was a very rude description I'm sorry <laughs> but anyways yeah this, they kind of just balance each other out so if you don't love pumpkin pe pumpkin pecan waffles we have it try mix mixing it with like a woody vanilla scent kind of like Madagascar vanilla that doesn't add sweetness but just kind of tones down the sweetness of this so that's that combo okay next is one I'm really excited for so the base for this one and if, if I keep reaching over here it's because all the perfumes are like a shelf it's like two feet away so I have to like reach over to get it but I'm filming in front of my window so it's like nowhere to put this <laughs> so that's the idea anyways um also I did actually finally order a tripod and a uh like lighting thing so my video quality or the time of day I can film should get better as also well as the angles because I can film in different parts of my room now so they don't just need the natural light um because yeah filming with an overhead light as your own only lighting source is not great anyways um so this starts with white pumpkin and chai there are no notes on this but it's like a there's like an apple note spices and a chai note in this it's really pretty it's not necessarily bakery but you can get the vibes. It's like an apple cider chai spicy scent. So really pretty. There's a hint of sweetness in this, like a hint of like a carameliness um, to make it more of that like bakery scented vibe. I am mixing it with my Alraham Choco Musk. So Choco Musk is really just a very sweet vanilla-y like white chocolate scent. So definitely give me like bakery like white chocolate cake pot vibes. Not too cakey, but like more of that white chocolate. And mixing these together just gives a beautiful like white chocolate cidery chai spice scent that really gives you those bakery vibes without being like in your face like cake. You know what I mean? So if you don't love bakery vibes, but you prefer more of those like spiced scents, um, more of like just the sweet scents versus bakery, but you still want a hint of bakery, this would be a perfect combo. Okay, two more combos with perfumes, and they'll be on to the ones without. So next, I have my Coconut Cream Pie Fine Fragrance Mist. This has notes of toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. And I'm going to be mixing that with my Mimic 57. It says a blend of pistachio tonka woods. This is their dupe for Kaylee's Yum Pistachio. This is not my favorite fragrance right now, but I haven't had it for very long, so I'll resmell it. But, um... Yeah, I mixed these two together and they're just really nice. So yeah, when they first tried this one, it just wasn't very like, it wasn't very sweet. So I need to add this to make it nice and sweet. Um, yeah, coconut cream pie is an extremely sweet, caramely, very, very sweet, caramely coconut scent. A lot of people like it. I know some people don't. So if you think it's too sweet and you're like, this kind of disappointed you and you're like, it's just not very sweet because I definitely got more of the Tonka. Yeah, I definitely get more of the Tonka than the pistachio. So yeah, mixing these two together. I literally put the wrong thing down. Okay. Mixing these two together really gives you this the sweetness it really needs and balances out that woody Tonka note. Yeah, it just makes a good combo overall. Not super pistachio-y, but they kind of balance each other out. Okay. Last but not least for the perfume combos, I have uh, Vanilla Romance from Bath Mudericks and Choco Musk from Al Rahab. So uh, Vanilla Romance has cardamom and vanilla and there's something else in there with like cedar wood. I think it's cedar wood, cardamom, and vanilla. You can definitely get the hint of woodiness. You get the cardamom, the spice, and like a soft creamy vanilla. And like soft creamy vanilla but also like a Madagascar vanilla vibe. It's really pretty. It's not like super sweet though. It's definitely more upscale, refined vanilla. And mixing it with Choco Musk, it just gives the refined, like fancy vanilla a little more sweetness, a little more of that fall cozy vibe. You can see like a white chocolate, like a white chocolate cardamom vanilla, like bakery tasting drink. It smells really nice and is perfect for fall. So yeah, that is my last perfume combo. So moving on to my um, 
perfumeless combo. Okay, so about like if there's a change in angle, my phone is like sitting directly in the sun, so it kind of overheated since I've been it's been cooking in the sun for 15 minutes. Um, yeah. Anyways, and it's next to the window, and it's like the window's kind of radiating heat. But anyways, on to the um perfumeless combos. So I know I always wanted people to show combos without perfumes when I didn't have a perfume collection because a few years ago I didn't have any perfumes I think I don't think I had one um and I was like why can't anybody do like perfume or combos without perfumes I believe Jasmine Biller did quite a few and I was really appreciative of that um I think uh Just Plain Jane did some as well and so yeah I want to do that as well because I still do enjoy just using only um fragrance mist especially if I'm having like a day where I'm like I can tell if I put on a bunch of perfume I'm gonna get a headache then I can just do a combo that's not gonna last as long but it'll not cause me to have a headache you know what I mean so yeah anyways I will start so the first one starts off with pink petal no sorry <laughs> I just talked about that pink velvet cupcake here's that uh the notes are not I don't I hate when they get uh get the ones in the outlet and like they don't have the notes at all like why just because it's from another country <laughs> doesn't mean it doesn't need the notes um but anyways um this is a like a raspberry sugary like extremely sugary sweet raspberry scent it doesn't have like a cupcake note but it's like a sugary street sweet like raspberry syrup scent that's what it feels like it smells really pretty but it's not necessarily bakery but to give it like um, the bakery vibe. I'm mixing it with Sweetheart Cherry. So to me, Sweetheart Cherry um, kind of gives it like pistachio cherry biscotti vibe. Like it has that kind of scent that's very reminiscent of that. Uh, the notes are wild cherry, crushed pistachio, and whipped vanilla. So the vanilla and pistachio give that vibe where it has like that background of almost like the almond biscotti type of thing. Yeah, so mixing the pistachio and cherry with the raspberry. It just really gives this a sweeter vibe, but also makes it like vanilla on biscotti vibe. So it's really pretty. It's not the most like bakery gourmand, but if you're not super hugely in love with bakery, you want like that hint of bakery. This is perfect, especially with, like cherry scents. Um, yeah, I love this thing as well. It's a really good scent. Okay, um, the next one also features Sweetheart Cherry, and it is Sweetheart Cherry mixed with Beach Nights. So. I did not used to enjoy Beach Nice at all. I hated it because of that sea salt breeze note. But over time, I think two years, I've had it for two years. So in the past two years, it has developed more into like a marshmallowy graham cracker vibe. So it's giving that marshmallow graham cracker vibe, which is definitely bakery because you know you bake graham crackers. So like the marshmallowy graham cracker vibe. Uh, the next, the actual notes are toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, and creamy vanilla. So that sea salt breeze note has gone away. In mine and it's just like a creamy sweet marshmallow thing to that graham cracker and it mixes really well with sweetheart cherry because it gives sweetheart cherry a more like relaxed creamy smooth vibe versus like in your face cherry pistachio almond you know what i mean so yeah it gives it even adds to the bakery vibe of this one it makes it much more creamy sweet and soft so i really do enjoy this as well okay is there any other one with beach nights there is okay so there's another one on beach nights it is beach nights and raspberry jam donut so same type of vibe um not type of vibe same like concept as the one with sweetheart cherry where this is like very strong and in your face and this one just adds a lot of creaminess so raspberry jam donut, jam donut has notes of wild raspberry jam powdered sugar and warm fluffy donut i would spread this one um in the past few minutes so yeah it's really pretty it's a it's a very strong sugary jammy donut note and it can be a little like overpowering and astringent to your senses at times so i paired it with uh, beach nights to give that creamy soft airy marshmallow vibe that really helps tone down the strength and makes it a much more wearable bakery for even the warmer fall days so there's that okay i think i'm done with raspberry jam donut. Okay, so the next combo is oh, I'm about to drop stuff. Okay, is pear creme brulee and 
Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. So Pear Creme Brulee has notes of baked pear, caramelized sugar, and whipped cream. And Vanilla Confetti Sparkle has creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. So these are both really pretty scents. I know this one is full, but I use up a different one. So that's why there's not like a huge dent in it. Actually, I think, have I used up two? No, I, I don't know, but I have used a complete bottle of this before. It's really pretty. It's just a nice, soft, creamy, cakey vanilla scent. Same thing with Pear Creme Brulee. I've used up an entire one of this as well. And it's like a baked pear with that like nice sugary caramel and a hint of like a pie crust almost. Yeah, so just mixing this together um, really amplifies the like cakey pie crust note in this. When you add this one, it just amplifies that. It makes it so much more of like an actual pear a baked pear like pie versus just like um just like baked pears by itself you know what I mean so yeah really pretty very nice um yeah also more fruity bakery option okay and last but not least I have store pound cake and it's supposed to be a sweet petal pound cake but while my phone was overheating <laughs> I put that away I'm like you know I'm done with this I don't need this one anymore I'm gonna put it back on my shelf up there I forgot I need that for this too um, anyways, I'll just talk about it, but sweet, or strawberry pound cake has notes of fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. This is also a very, very strong scent. Just in your face, like, like, almost fake strawberry, lots of whipped cream, lots of cake. So, the sweet petal pound cake, this is a nice soft, rosy vibe. It really tones down the strong gourmand, like, knock you out of the park, I almost dropped that, bakery vibe of strawberry pound cake. Or it can be over almost overpowering and just gives it like a soft calm fluffy rose note makes it a really beautiful combo so if you like florals but you want to like dip your toes into the bakery game you can mix these two together yeah it just kind of tones this down until you're ready <laughs> for a full strawberry pound cake which i gotta say is uh quite difficult because strawberry pound cake is extremely strong um as most of you know it is like very strong but a good set nonetheless so yeah thank you guys all so much for watching i believe no is this is my most on thursday so i believe on saturday you should see my apple layering combos which i'm very excited because i love apple scents uh especially for fall so i'll be doing those and yeah i'll see you in the next one